Life has presented us with many questions, some that will never be solved. What is the meaning of life? What is beyond a black hole? What is the square root of pi? When will dad get back with the milk? I propose to solve the most daunting question of all time. The one we've all asked before, but have never been bold enough to find the answer. How do the trains have faces? This is a question that I, and many others, have asked at some point or another. How do the trains have faces? Why do they have faces? Was it magic? Were they put there by the one who built them? Some sort of satanic ritual? Many answers have been proposed, but none of them have been correct. However, I bring forth 100% concrete answer on how do the trains have faces. First. I would like to go over and discuss the many answers that people have proposed and show just how wrong they are. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. This is an answer that stems from Thomas and the Magic Railroad due to this one scene with Lady. But Thomas and the Magic Railroad isn't canon. <laughs> So it doesn't count, okay? It does not count. This doesn't make much sense for many reasons. A, what are they using to make the faces? Some sort of rubber material? B, why would someone put a face on an engine? It seems much easier if they weren't alive would probably solve a lot of issues and prevent several accidents from occurring. Maybe that's what they do with the engines that really misbehave. You never know. I am getting sick of this. Can we please go five minutes without talking about Shed 17? FIVE MINUTES! On the island of Sodor, there is a station called Kill Day. Pretty normal station, like many others on the island. However, it holds a dark secret. On top of the hill from Kildane is a pair of stone pillars, very much like the standing stones. However, here at the stones is where a cult would perform several rituals to worship the devil or some form of a demon. It is believed these rituals is what brought life to the engines. What helps give this a little bit of truth is the fact that when Kildane is translated into Sodric, it spells out the Church of the Devil. You think this is all ridiculous? I mean, yeah, satanic rituals bringing the trains to life is a little far-fetched. But the cult stuff, it's true. I, I was a little stunned when I found out about this, but I do recommend Googling. All these answers, while good in theory, don't hold too much solid ground. However, after heavy amount of research, studying, testing, I believe I have come to a final conclusion. The answer to life's greatest question. Why do the trains in Thomas have faces? And the answer is... A drumroll please.
There is no answer. That's it. Now, before everyone gets their pitchforks and torches, and before everyone tries to cancel me, hear me out. There has never been a concrete answer to why the trains have faces. Even the man himself, Audrey, couldn't come up with a good answer. He said only engines on Sodor have faces, even though there are many books that contradict this. This was just a quick explanation for children on why engines in the real world didn't have faces. My belief is there is no real solid answer to why the trains have faces, and neither should there be one. Why? Because it's not really needed. I mean, does knowing why the trains have faces really add anything to the stories? Not really, so it doesn't really matter. Take for example, Toy Story. The toys are all alive, somehow. Do they ever explain how or why? Oh, what about the tombs in Who Framed Roger Rabbit? How are they alive? Are they drawn? Again, this is a question that's never really answered, but at the same time, it doesn't really need to be answered. People will and have questioned why the toys are alive, and the same goes for the tombs. But the movies are so entertaining that we don't need them to explain. It's something we all ask, but we all eventually accept. And I think if they did try to explain it, it would be even more weird and even more confusing on why they're alive. So that's my answer on how the trains have faces. They do, and there's no real answer, but neither do you need one to enjoy these stories. Honestly, a lot of the stories would be very boring if the trains weren't alive. The fact they're alive is what makes Thomas so special. It's seeing the everyday and working on the railway from the perspective of the engines. And if they weren't alive, well, it would be really boring. But the fact is, they are alive, and I don't think we'd want it any other way. This may have not been what you were expecting, but if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, I want to make a quick thank you for 1000 subs. I'm in the middle of a little video to celebrate, so that should come out eventually, hopefully. Also, if you enjoy my rambling about Train 7 Faces, I want to try and make more type of discussion videos like this, so please suggest any Thomas themed topics to talk about or cover.